are you? I've missed you. And uh, before you jump in the comments saying, where the hell have you been? Let me explain. I'm gonna bring you up to speed with what happened during this past couple of weeks where I haven't posted anything. And also let you know about some ideas that I had about this channel and the content that I'm creating. It's not gonna change, it's still gonna be designed, but I had some ideas and some thoughts during this break that I took. Okay, so let's start with the first question. Where have I been in the past couple of weeks? Well, the simple answer is I've been on a holiday. A very long holiday, fair enough, three weeks, but it was nice and the reason it took so long is because I went in the United States of America. And as you can imagine, you cannot go to the United States as a European and just stay for a couple of days. You have to extend your holiday and just make the best of it. And that's exactly what I did. I went to LA, I visited all the touristy stuff like the Hollywood sign, I went to the Griffith Observatory, Hollywood Walk of Fame, Venice Beach, you know, all the cool stuff that you would like to see as a tourist. Then I rented a car and went along the coast to San Francisco. The thing is, I almost died in the process because half of the lane that I was supposed to drive to see Big Sur actually collapsed and fell into the sea. So the story is that as I was driving to Big Sur, I had this huge urge to just use my drone and just get some shots. And for some unknown reason, I stopped at the Rocky Creek Bridge just because I thought that I would get some nice shots. It made no sense because it was raining, it was foggy. I think that that was the worst drone shot that I ever got. But to be honest, I'm glad I did because two minutes after I stopped and after I started playing around with my drone, a cop car came and announced that half of the lane that we were supposed to use to go to Big Sur collapsed and crumbled into the sea. So if I wouldn't have stopped for that shot, which is this one that you're seeing right now, probably your boy would have been in the water just swimming with the fishes. But happy that I was still alive, I managed to arrive to San Francisco, went around the city, visited of course all the touristy stuff there as well, the pier, the bridge, Alcatraz, the painted ladies, we went in the city center, so we had a lot of fun. It was a really nice city, unfortunately we couldn't stay more than a day. Then we decided to go to visit Las Vegas as well, which is nice, it feels like a Disneyland for adults. Now what I liked the most about Las Vegas was that you can actually take an airplane and visit the canyon and then come back. Which for me as a tourist was absolutely perfect. Now the best thing about this whole experience is seeing the canyon from that plane. It's absolutely stunning. I took some amazing shots from that airplane. I really enjoyed the whole experience. If you ever go to Vegas and if you ever want to go to the canyon, I highly recommend you to hire one of those planes and just travel like that because the views you're gonna be able to see from that perspective are out of this world. So yeah, we saw Vegas in the canyon as well then we flew to Miami where a good friend of mine lives so we managed to see Miami as well and get a bit of sunshine and lastly we visited my favorite city which is New York but it was not planned the reason why we ended up in New York was that our flight got delayed and we ended up staying in New York for a day obviously ate as many New York pizza slices as I could got my cap got some souvenirs and then afterwards flew back to London so that's pretty much what I've been up to these couple of weeks during this break I had time to reflect and look at the content that I've been putting out till now. And what I've realized is that I haven't put any personality or soul into my videos. I want to show you how amazing it is to be a designer because this is the only skill that I personally know that once you learned it, you can create your own products and your own businesses. And yes, you can argue that you can be a photographer, videographer, graphic designer or whatever, and you can do pretty much the same thing. You become a freelancer. But the thing is with design, once you know this skill, once you know how to create digital products, you can create your own businesses and your own products so you can be fully independent. You can become an entrepreneur, you can become a business owner, you can be your own boss, which is amazing. Yes, you can work with clients, but this part is the best part in my opinion. And I feel like I haven't conveyed that through my videos. And what I wanna do now is one, put a bit more character into the videos and just be more open to you, like I'm talking to a friend, not script absolutely everything as I did previously because I want this relationship to grow into a friendship so you can learn from me not by listening to me but by watching me do stuff and then learn from my mistakes or the things that I'm doing right. And secondly, I want to take you with me when I'm traveling or when I'm meeting clients or when I'm doing interesting stuff just so you can learn from my experiences and see exactly how it is to be a designer on a day-to-day -day basis. So now let me know what you think about this idea. It might be crazy, I don't know. I'm gonna try a couple of videos out, see how it goes. I still have a lot of things to learn about 
about, you know, white balance, ISO, how to use the camera. Trust me, I've been a designer for such a long time, but I don't know why, like filming stuff with the camera is more complicated than it looks. But either way, I'm gonna do my best to create high quality content for you guys. So that's pretty much the ideas that I had when I was on holiday. Now regarding other updates like the UX Masterclass, it's still coming, I'm still working on it. The only issue is that, I don't know for some reason, but Figma just pisses me off because every single time I'm finishing a module, they decide to change the user interface. So whatever I filmed previously, I have to refilm, re-edit, just because Figma decided to, oh, I'm gonna slightly change the UI here. And the thing that I don't wanna do is to have you guys look at a course that doesn't look anything like the product that you're using. So that's kind of like why you haven't seen any progress on UX Lab Academy. It's not that I forgot about it. It's just me trying to make it as perfect as possible and probably that's why I'm slowing down this progress but on the other hand I finally managed to release the design system if you're interested you can find it on UX Lab Academy it's pretty much my most complex and I will say the best design system that I ever used so everything that I've learned throughout all these years working with clients is in that design system and I want to update it as much as possible and add new components so if you feel like you need any components or if you feel like it's missing something please feel free to just reach out to me either in the comments or on X or whatever you want and just let me know what components you would like to have and if those are very good suggestions then obviously I'm gonna put them into the design system. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That's what I've been up to. Those are kind of like the updates that I have for you guys. I'm super happy to be back in the studio and also to start to put out some more original and engaging content. And I don't know if that's gonna be easy or hard. I'm not sure, I'm still learning. But if you want to be part of that journey, feel free to smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. And if you're not part of the club yet, hit that like button just to help me with the algorithm. And if you enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys in the next video pretty soon. Bye-bye.